Good morning, everybody. This is the White Plains City School District Reopening Committee meeting for uh, Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021. And this is our last reopening committee meeting for the 2020-2021 academic year. And uh, what a year it's been. I, first, I wanna just thank every member of the committee for all of your help and your support and your guidance and your feedback. Uh, we really came so far uh, over the course of the last year and uh, it, it couldn't have happened without you. So just uh, from me and I know from all of the Board of Education members and the entire White Plains City School District community, thank you and congratulations. Uh, we are here, it's, it's commencement day for the class of 2021, a very exciting day. We were just saying before we started the video, we couldn't have asked for better weather um, and we're all very excited to celebrate our Tigers graduating this evening and of course celebrating our eighth graders who will be moving up tomorrow evening uh, which will be another fantastic celebration and we've been celebrating all of our kids um, for the last week and a half or so with uh, various moving up ceremonies and end of the year activities none of which we were sure we would be able to uh, have in place when we started out this academic year so we really truly have come a very, very long way. And uh, you know, I, for one, am, am extraordinarily grateful for all that. So I have a couple of quick updates for you today. Um, and uh, then we can uh, just move on and see if anybody has any questions. First and foremost, the reopening committee right now will remain in effect. Uh, though we do not have a date, a scheduled date for our next meeting, we will send that out to you uh, and new members of, of the committee. Um, when once we know how we need to proceed. So once we hear from the New York State Department of Health and or um, New York State Education Department, we'll make sure we get that out to you. If anything comes up during the course of the summer recess, we will be sure to communicate that with you immediately um, so that you are aware. I, I do uh, foresee that we will have some changes coming down the pipe after the, the conclusion of the academic year. What they are is really anybody's guess, but looking at the trajectory of things and looking at um, the emergence from the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we can see that all around the country, and particularly in New York, um, we're seeing a, a uh, sort of a shift from the uh, stringent health safety standards that had been in place um, to a, a more of, well, I'll say, I'll call it, you know, a typical environment. Um, but we'll keep a very close eye on all of that and make sure that we're communicating that with our uh, community and, of course, the, the committee. I do want to just thank um, Rena's with us, and, and I also want to thank uh, President Eller and Yolanda Rodriguez. They did a really great job yesterday, if you didn't catch it, uh, participating in the, the United States Department of Education's first ever Equity Summit. Um, really fantastic representation for the White Plains City School District of our efforts to bring equity um, to all of our children all the time. It's, it's work that is, I call it forever work. Uh, we'll always be working at it. Um, but of course, it was really nice uh, to hear from our community members um, sharing with the country um, some of the ways in which uh, folks can replicate those types of, of situations um, and policies and procedures so that all children um, are respected and part of their learning community, no matter where they are. So congratulations. And again, thank you, Lena um, and, and uh, President Eller and Mrs. Rodriguez as well. Um, I also want to welcome a couple of new members uh, to the committee. Uh, we have uh, Jake is with us, Jake Harrison. Welcome, Jake. Uh, Jake is going to be taking over for Sean Lewis, who will actually get to retire. Um, most of you know that Sean Lewis retired uh, from the police force one day and then the next day started working with us. Um, so now he's actually going to get to retire and, and we're very Thankful for Sean and wish him all the best. And he's still going to be around and he's working very closely with Jake right now. But Jake, um, welcome and thanks for being with us. For those of you who don't know, Jake's uh, he's a, a retired uh, state trooper. He's also had a great deal of experience um, managing very large uh, operations at, all throughout his law enforcement career. And he's one of our dads, uh, which is really cool as well. So uh, welcome, Jake. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. I uh, look forward to working with everyone and uh, helping around the district, whoever I can. Thank you. Thank you and, and welcome. And, and it's been already been great to have you with us, Jake, and part of the team. Um, also want to, I thought I saw, yes, Mr. Hernandez is here as well. Uh, welcome, Xavier. Xavier is working uh, with our facilities department. Mr. Stefanelli, it's great to have you with us as part of the team. Um, and uh, official official welcome to the reopening committee, Xavier. 
Thank you. I appreciate. Absolutely. Um, I just another another item that I'd like to share with you this afternoon. This is really kind of interesting, and I don't know really how this is going to play out, but I actually uh, got invited to a uh, meeting this afternoon, virtual, of course, uh, meeting this afternoon with the White House uh, for the United States COVID Response Task Force with regard to vaccination and reopening of public schools for the 2021-2022 academic year. So I'm not sure <laughs> what that all entails. Uh, but if there's anything that's pertinent or anything that, that uh, you know, needs to be shared uh, with the White Plains City School District community, I will definitely share that with you as well. Okay, for me, finally, and for everyone who's watching this later on or at home, uh, just a, a, a gigantic thank you. Uh, it has really been a, a challenging year, uh, but you know what? Uh, not only did we survive, but we truly thrived. And I recognize that it wasn't easy. We didn't always agree. There were bumps along the road. Uh, but at the end of the day, and as we find ourselves here at the end of the academic year, um, we really truly did accomplish a great deal. And the only reason I believe we were able to do it is because we did it together. No matter where we were in the school district, no matter who we are in this educational community, everybody, had a voice and we made sure that we listened to all of those voices. Now that is something that we need to make sure that we continue to do in all aspects of our educational community. I think that's what makes us strong. And I think that's what makes us uniquely white plains. So from, again, for me, uh, I, I just couldn't be more grateful and humble to be part of this, this community. So thank you very, very much for everything. Work's not done, I get it. Uh, but at the same time, I think it is important that we celebrate successes. And uh, certainly you should all feel fantastic about what you've accomplished over the course of these last 15 months. That's everyone on the screen and that's everybody at home as well. I do wanna open up for any questions, comments, or concerns about anything at all. I know we're wrapping up this year. So if there's none, that's great, no problem. If there are some, please feel free to bring them to the forefront. Short meeting. <laughs> All right, well, listen, everybody, thank you so much. And Dr. Longobardi, I, I just wanna say uh, thank you very, very much for making time, taking time out of your day. I know you, you were patients all the time. You were a huge, huge help and support to us. And I have to tell you, there were a lot of times that I, and you know this, you know, I asked you, Doc, what do you think? And I just really appreciate you always being there for us. Um, thanks very much. And of course, uh, Nurse Rasiopo and, and all of our health services staff as well. Yeah, thank you. Everyone right, did a great job. On to summer, on to commencement, on to moving up days. I wish you all a happy, healthy, and hopefully restful summer. Uh, we will get messages out to you and schedule meetings when they're upcoming. But again, thank you so much uh, and stay WP proud, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great summer, everybody. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sean Lewis. See you later, Sean. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Deanna.